de Castis. I heard you can help me with the solar floral regeneration project. Uh, the what? Oh, forgive me. Let me start from the beginning. I'm Neocles, an imperial botanist here in Atlantis. I'm engineering a way to aid floral regrowth. The flowers here can't just grow on their own? Oh, no! You're not one of those followers of Minerva, are you? Slow down. Why don't you just tell me what it is you need from me? Oh, apologies, Nicastis. You're new to Atlantis, and I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me begin. Basically, the plants are a key resource for us here. But a few cycles ago, humans overpicked them, and now the air is suffering. You want to grow more? In a sense, yes. I have a hypothesis, a theory that using a natural power source stronger than the sun will promote sustainable growth. You're losing me again. There are devices that project beams of light around the Garden of Triton. Redirecting them using the reflective surfaces would stimulate floral regrowth. You want me to move your lights? Yes! And the Castis, taking care of our natural resources, would send a message to all of Atlantis. A good message, I hope. It looks like all the light beams need to hit that central structure. That must be the device Neocles mentioned. Reminds me of how I opened the door to Atlantis. Budge.
first one down. The flowers growing in no time. Should do it. I'll tell Neocles it's done. That doesn't seem good. What happened? Your light beams. It seemed to be working, but then... The beams are aligned, yes, but the power isn't running. What do you think the problem is? 
Ah, none of this makes any sense. The light beams should expand across the gardens and present with enhanced photons. There might be something wrong with your theory. I still don't see how this light is any better than the sun. The sun! That's it! The power source must also be displaced, rendering this light no different than the sun. No wonder you're the Dicastis. That's brilliant! So the next step is... Go to the control room and make sure the power source isn't displaced. And what exactly is this source? An igneous matter consisting of Imperial... It's a rock. Just make sure there's a rock in the control room. <sighs> Fine. I'll go see if this rock is there. Looks like Neoclis was right. There is no rock here. Huh? Hey! Stop right there! Get back here! Uh, Malaka! Dicastis doing running around here? I'm chasing down a thief. Looks like you're the one who took Neocles' rock. My name is Melita. I'm an environmental biologist, not a thief. Neocles has no claim to a natural power source like this. That rock must be worth a lot if you're trying to steal it. You're the Dicastis and you have no idea what the power source is? Aren't you invested in the future of our resources? It's easy. Put the rock in Neocles' device and we'll fix the flowers. This isn't Neocles' first attempt at population balancing. When the flowers were overpicked and the bees started dying, first he attempted to artificially pollinate the flowers. When he artificially pollinated the flowers, the soil degraded. When the soil... I get the idea. But then, how would you fix the gardens? I wouldn't. Nature has been healing itself for eons. Neocles needs to stop meddling. Melita! You've always been obtuse about the project. No accountability for civilization's impact on the ecosystem. Insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. When will you accept your hypothesis has failed? Failed is inaccurate terminology. I simply adjusted my theory after experiencing unintended results. Enough bickering, both of you. You're right. I wanted to destroy the power source to end his project once and for all. But as the Dicastis, it should be your decision. All right, give me the rock. I'll end this once and for all. Are you mad? You've completely annihilated our chances at future sustainability! Trust in Gaia. 
Nature will heal itself if you allow it. Thank you, Vicastis. This is the right direction to go in. We might not see improvements right away, but the gardens will heal themselves. Melita said it would take time for the gardens to heal, but those flowers don't look good. I wonder what she'd make of this. <laughs> The one who holds the staff has no choice but to face both immediate and future consequences for lifetimes. That takes responsibility. I hear you, Alethea. You may think I'm crazy, but at least I'm accountable. the stranger I'm no stranger I'm El Peace and I've been watching you that's not ominous at all <laughs> I'll drop the cloak and dagger I've been training to become like you but training isn't enough you're more than a warrior the blood of the gods runs through your veins I thought they preferred Isu in Atlantis the Isu may as well be the divine with how they rule. Cold, calculating, indifferent to the people milling beneath them. But it's not just Isu blood that makes you special, is it? There's something else. Well, you tell me. I'm talking about this, your spear. Oh, showing off for me, are you? Just a little. <laughs> are you impressed? If I wasn't so distracted by your beautiful face, you would have never gotten close to my spear. Flattering, but we have business to attend to, the Castis. So, what do you want from me? I'm involved with Atlas. He's afraid of taking the relationship public. He says his enemies would exploit me as his weakness, so he keeps me a secret. Wait, you're in love with Atlas? From my experience, I'm not sure Isu men truly love. Nevertheless, I need to make him see that I can be his strength. Our partnership might be a key to bridging the gap between Isu and humans. Your love is strategic. If we take the relationship public, we could marry and I could rule the district by his side, influence policy and ease the tension between the two groups. But so long as I am merely human, it can never be. That's why I want to be like you. You seem very passionate about Atlantean politics. Atlas doesn't approach the human and Isu conflict with compassion for humanity. I believe I can bring that compassion. Someone so ready to kill his own brothers hardly strikes me as husband material. Atlas is like any Isu, aloof and unchanging. That's why we make a good team. I bring out his humanity. It would be nice to have another ally in Atlantis. What's your plan? 
At the Adamant Metalon, they harvest a metal used to create devices just like your spear. My spear is the strongest metal ever forged. Could this be used to forge other weapons? Well, Adamant ingots could. But what I need is raw Adamant. I know the one who can forge it for me. The Atlas can't suspect what I'm up to, so make sure you're not seen. Oh, is that what this metal is? I found it when I was there earlier. Here, you can have it. Nice to see that you're as skilled as you look. I'm making the right choice to become more like you. You seem fine to me. I don't know why you're trying to change. And just as you were destined to be the Castiz, I am destined for this. I just know it. Humans in Atlantis are lucky to have someone like you fighting for them. You'll make a great leader. I'm glad you understand what this means to me. Still, all you have is raw adamant. Until I take it to a skilled blacksmith so he can forge an Isu device from the adamant. Well, you know where to find the Dicastis when you need him. The forging takes time. What we do next will change Atlantis irreversibly. You should make sure you complete all your duties as Dicastis before meeting me at the Loma of Atlas. Want to tell me what that was all about? No. I'll be fine. The Castis! You can make this all go away! My name is Lyra, and you're... You! You've helped so many people. You're amazing and wonderful and powerful and... And you're here! <laughs> Thank you. That's nice of you. You deserve all the praise and more. They called you a murderer. You don't seem the type, but as the Castis, I have to be sure. They're sure I'm responsible for what happened to that poor family. They said it's like the other murders, but I couldn't live with myself, I swear. Please, please clear my name. Where were you when the family was murdered? If it happened last night like they said, I, I was here trying to sleep. Although lately it's been restless, filled with strange dreams. It's always the same one, over and over. Were you alone? Well, yes. I've been so tired lately, I decided to stay in. You said something about other murders. This was the... third time. I just don't understand why they blame me. I, I don't have the stomach to do that. I'll find out what really happened. Just point me in the direction of the attack. Just down the road. Not too far from here. If I were you, I'd hide until I return. Oh, good idea. Thank you. 
You truly are a great Dicastis. Someone around here saw what happened last night. Ha! Ah, the great Ligastis. What did I do to deserve a visit? I'm looking into the attack that happened nearby last night. Ah, of course. I thought that was meant to be handled already. You mean the mob harassing that woman? I I've said enough. I understand your hesitation. But I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. I'll make sure whoever or whatever did this is punished. You've already met the guilty one. Lyra? You agree with the mob? Of course I do. I'm the one who told them it was her. I saw her last night, bloody and in a frenzy. It was dark. How do you know it was her? I know what I saw. Is this about what happened last night? How do you know? It's all everyone's talking about. And if the Tijastis is here, you must be looking into it. If you saw or heard anything, I need to know. I saw it from the distance. Heard it too. Its howl will never leave my mind. You saw a wolf? Beast is more like it. If you see it, run! I'll be careful. These footprints track the blood out of the house. Whoever murdered them left this way. These aren't stab wounds. They're claw marks. This bloody cloth doesn't match the mother or daughter's robes. It must have come off the murderer. I should return to Lyra and let her know what I found. Find out what happened. The evidence I found was conflicting. Tell me. Two people saw what happened. One woman heard a wolf howling, but a man said he saw you, covered in blood, and leaving the family's house. He's lying! Or mistaken. It was dark, so it could have been anyone. There's more. The killing blows weren't made by a weapon. Then by what? It almost looked like claw marks. And then there was this piece of cloth. It didn't match the clothes of anyone there. That's... that's mine! How did it get there? Someone wants me to look like I was responsible. Tell me the truth, Dicastis. Whether it was a wolf or something else, it's clear it wasn't you. Of course it wasn't, but why would someone make it seem like I'm the murderer? We'll figure that out together, after I kill the beast. You're going to kill it? What other choice is there? Do you want another mob after you? No, of course not. I've just always hated the killing of animals. If I don't kill it now, it will kill someone later. I have a friend who can keep me safe while you end this. I need to find the beast and kill it before it grows bloodthirsty again. This is no ordinary. 
Ordinary wolf. Malaka. Lira. It was me! What am I? I've seen this before. A Minotaur, a Cyclops, a Gorgon. All were humans possessed by powerful Isu devices. The only way I could stop them was by killing them. But you're able to change back. Somehow, you're different. I don't remember coming here. Or why? If I had to guess, that side of you knew it was caught. Maybe it thought coming out here was the only choice it had. That side of me? I've had dreams lately of being in a bright room, tied down, pain throughout my body. But now, I think that all really happened. I did kill them then. I don't remember it, but it was me, wasn't it? If you knew you would harm people again, and you could never control yourself, never stop, would you? Would I what? Jump? If I lost control of myself and knew I'd never get it back, I'm not sure what I'd do. I thought so. This is the only way. If I'm to die, I want to be the one to decide when that happens. You don't need to do this. The choice was made for me. I can't go on after what I've done, and what I'd likely do again. Thank you. For everything. Issue technology can and will change whoever isn't strong enough to command it. That explains your own aggression, Layla. I'm still me. I'm not as weak as you think I am. Now that I have the Isu device forged, we need to move quickly. You distract Atlas while I sneak into his private chambers. More sneaking. After Poseidon outlawed human experiments, Atlas confiscated a device and kept it. That device theoretically could add a third helix to my DNA. I've seen what these Isu devices can do. It's not pretty. The science is sound. And I've even found evidence of tests being done on humans that looked promising. In previous cycles, of course, before Poseidon outlawed experimentation. Just tell Atlas the truth. You have good intentions. If he's afraid of his enemies hurting me now, what will he think of me undergoing this procedure? Besides, he can't break Poseidon's law. I'm not sure a good Dicastis goes behind the back of an Atlantean Archon. I've been preparing for this my entire life. Don't worry. Just keep Atlas talking while I'm in his chambers. 
I don't think we have anything in common. What are we supposed to talk about? The weather? Atlas is a jealous lover, and he's already threatened by your role as the Castis. Why not play to that advantage? Whatever you do, don't mention my plans. Great. This will do wonders for our relationship. Everyone knows it's lonely at the top, the Castis. Let's go. I've studied this science extensively. Once I impart Isu DNA into my body, I should be able to use the device without side effects. It's the should that worries me. Remember, whatever you do, don't reveal my political plans to Atlas. I could trick Atlas into thinking you and I are closer than we are. Are we not close? What's there to trick? You know what I mean. Yes. Making Atlas envious would certainly be a good distraction. Elpis? What are you doing here? With him, no less. The Dicastis and I were just taking a stroll, and I remembered I left a book on Atlantean cyclical history here. He'd like to borrow it. Do you mind if I fetch it? I... no. Do you need me to help you look for it? No, no. You two stay here. I'm sure you have much to discuss. What game are you playing, Dicastis? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure by now Elpis has told you about the nature of our relationship. She's hardly as discreet as I'd like her to be. What business do you have with her? What? Is Elpis not allowed to have friends? Of course she can have friends. But I suspect there's more going on here. You have nothing to worry about, Atlas. I have no schemes against you. Maybe you don't play games. But Elpis lives for them. I can tell when she's up to something. Don't talk about Elpis that way. She's not manipulative. She's passionate. So you do care for her then? You don't talk about Elpis like you love her. And you're not speaking of her as if you're merely her casual acquaintance. The truth is, Elpis and I are in love. What? Ah! Ah! What? What have you done? I'm not weak anymore, Atlas. I can rule Atlantis at your side. This is your doing. You're trying to revolt against the issue with hybrids. No! Ah! What did you do? I didn't mean to. He was going to kill you. Ah, it seems my brother finally got his due. Is this your judgment, Thigastis? I killed Atlas. It wasn't my intention. I... You hoped to rule by his side to ease the conflict between humans and Isu. He wasn't as supportive of my dreams as I would have hoped. I support you. You can assume his role as you see fit. I will handle Poseidon and my brothers. Thank you, Azais. You can't be more corrupt than Atlas. An Atlantis can't fear progress if it hopes to pass this cycle. Atlantean politics are even more dramatic than in the Greek world. What will you do now? I'm not the first Atlantean ruler to take power by force. If the Isu can do it, why not me? Still, I didn't want to start my reign this way. Bring the good you've always dreamed of to your reign. 
I will, the Castis. Thank you for your help. She certainly can't do any worse. so peaceful from up here. It always does. But it never is. I know, Icarus. I'm tired too. I've met so many people. Archons, kings, and now Isu. They're all the same. Go do this. Bring me that. Go kill him. I don't know if I can do this anymore. If I were ruler, Things would be much, much different. What's that, Icarus? A speech from your new ruler. <clears throat> Atlanteans! Tonight, we tear off these clothes and make love until the sun comes up! I wonder what Alcibiades is doing these days. <laughs> or who? Who is Alcibiades? You shouldn't sneak up on people like that. I'm sorry, I didn't want to interrupt the Dicastis' speech. <sighs> it was more of a fantasy, really. Call me Alexios. I thought it was wonderful, Dicastis Alexios. <laughs> Just Alexios is fine. And what's your name? Alcon, you're even more special than all the bedtime stories my parents used to tell me. What's wrong? My parents are missing. They left for their assignments, but they never came home. The Isu won't help me. But then I remembered the story of you helping a lost girl in the underworld who found her parents in Elysium. So I came to you. Her name was Phoebe. We were good friends. She's in a better place now than when I found her. She was lucky to have a friend like you. I could always make a new friend. Maybe you, Alcon. And I could help you. Would you like that? More than anything. You said your parents never came home. If you could tell me where they're assigned and what their names are, it would be very helpful. Mata's name is Rene. She's assigned to the harbor. Pater is called Damadis, and he's assigned to the adamant quarry. You're very brave. Now go home where it's safe. I'll go talk to the harbor master and whoever is in charge of the quarry. I'll come find you once I have some answers.
the Castis. Have you come to analyze the recently discovered coral permutations fastened to the hulls of our vessels? Ah, uh, no. I'm looking for a woman named Rini. Uh, yes, well, that is a subject I have absolutely zero authority in, I'm afraid. I cannot help you. Her son is very worried. Please, do not asphyxiate me! What are you doing? I like humans, and I liked Rini. Poor Alcon. But if they hear me talking to you, they'll kill me. Tell me where she is, or I'll cut you! Oh, I told you, I, I don't know anything! You'll find my contact not far from here, but be careful. A trap has been set for you. You have made the Dicastis very angry! Thank you. Please don't tell Poseidon! You have compassion, Dicastis. You may be the only one who can calm the brewing storm between humans and Isu. Ah. Our master was right. They're waiting for me. Well, I'd hate to disappoint them. Put it out! There's a lot of guards for a quarry. I wonder why. They'll be on high alert here. This an honor. How'd you get past my guards? I'm looking for Thamadis. And why would the great Vikastis be looking for missing humans? I never said he was missing. Very clever. Hybrid. When my humans transport adamant to the experimentation chamber, they don't always return. Occasionally they fall through the cracks, like rats. 
A little boy is worried about his father. Just tell me where this experimentation chamber is. Your compassion for humans is unproductive. Your hatred for humans is self-destructive. <sighs> Fine. It's in the garden of Kimopolia. But you're wasting your time. The doors are locked. Then I'll just have to find the key. You can try hybrid. You know, treating humans like vermin will get you killed one day. That day is today. Algon's probably wondering where I am. I'll go see him. I should be careful. High security here. 